so many things I could talk about, my friend. Today, I'm going to tell you that if I were in body, because I'm not, I'm just coming through this body. If I were in body, I would be misperceived by some, perhaps by many, as arrogant, as full of my self. And my friends, I am full of myself. What else is there to be full of? What are you supposed to be full of? You're supposed to be selfless? What would that be like? Like a balloon that's empty? Like a hot air balloon that floats? You call that an airhead. Like a mylar balloon that will just go higher and higher and isn't grounded. Interesting. I am Zazu, that's what they named me, my friends here. I don't have a name where I come from and where I come from we don't have all of these things to process that you have to process in your experiential life system and this is your experiential life system you call it life I call it experiential processing life processing system all you do all the time with at least six senses I don't like it's okay but she says it can bite my face while I'm in here. And I say, all right, she says to tell it to fly away. Fly away, fly away. All right, she says to use like that. She says, fly away. At least six senses with which to process, to experience, to taste, to hear, all sorts of things, life. What do you do other than process? Like a machine, there's another one. Oh, it's the same one, oh my. All you do like a machine is run what you see. She says that you should know I am here and that I am not her, go. Go on. She says she got a friend for you, go. But I mean off the chair. I see. Well, I don't have a nut for you. You were already given one. Go, go, go. Off you go. So here you are this processing machine you probably think you are a person with feelings or something like that you are a processing machine you process the bird coming back and coming back you process being hungry you process this feeling this frustration on and on and on now i'm going to tell you a little not so much of a secret but it's a secret just because you don't seem to be aware of it, most of you. And that is, when you back up the processing, you get jammed up and you call it depression. Because your system is depressed, it isn't working. The pipes aren't flowing. You are a processing machine. Are you processing hot air? Or are you processing what? Your experience, your perception of the bird coming back again and again and again. And I believe this is number four. I said go. Go. No, I'm not her. What? 
good would it be to be selfless? Selfless. If you are selfless, you aren't there to process what's happening. Agreed? In other words, here you are. This is your computer because you understand computers. No, that's not a toy. She says it's not a toy. Here you are, this computer. And what goes in and what gets input are those experiences. What good is a computer that is empty? It doesn't run anything. What good are you if you are selfless? You think selfless is good. You think selfless means you care about other people. I don't understand. What makes you think that selfless people or people filled with themselves that you deem selfish, self-filled, I would say? What makes you think they care? Either way. You have 8 billion of you. How many people are you supposed to care about in order to qualify to be a good person? Is that really a logical statement? Or, I say, what's interesting to me is people with a passion, people who have it all, people who are empowered, they tend to be in the position to help more people, to be more caring. Being selfless doesn't make you more caring. It may make you less able to impact, to be beneficial and be caring. For example, the one that resides in this body, she likes birds. There's all these birds lately and they do things, these birds. She cares for them. Is she selfish, selfless, feathered? Does it matter what we call it? Or, my friends, does it matter what you do with it? Does it matter how you live your life? And can you live an empowered life and help other friends of yours? If you are empowered, if you are intentful. So, so many things to talk to you about, so many. I will say this for now, because I've given you something to think about. I want you to take what I'm saying to heart. People who come and show up and they value themselves and they say to you that they are worthy and that you should enjoy their company like I would. Perhaps you should listen. What are they asking of you? Are they leeching you? Are they asking you to give yourself away the way a selfless person does? And if you give yourself away and give this away here and this away there and this away there, do you empower anyone? Do you make yours a better life? Do you make the world a better place? Do you? Interesting. Or is it the people who are empowered, who have it all, that do things and have the ability to help others? You sort of have these extremes. Those who are very egotistical and affect others and is always in detrimental ways. And then you have those who are filled with themselves, they are empowered, they are full of themselves and they can't help but do things and be in ways that benefit others. But you say the proof is in the pudding. I say Look to see the processing around you. In other words, look around you and then perceive it, process it. It doesn't matter. Selfless, full of self. What matters is the effect and the impact. 
Sometimes you see those, sometimes you don't. Sometimes those are more pronounced. Sometimes they're subtle, but they're still there in the air, in the waves, affecting things. Just like nature. Just the way nature has this subtle energy in the air that affects everything. More to process. The question therefore is, when something happens, that thing flies by or these things fly by, there are things to process. When you are selfless, you don't know what to do about it. You don't necessarily think anything about it. You're busy thinking about other people who you can't help. If you can't help yourself, my friends, you can't help others. You could try. Sometimes you can argue that it'll work, but not overall, not really. On the other hand, when you are here, you are present, you are full of yourself. You value yourself. Your smile alone can help others. Then, when these things fly by and there's things to process, you're going to do more than not notice them. You're going to do more than notice them. You're going to do things like communicate with them. That one's mad because it doesn't know where she went. I tried explaining. She'll come back. She'll figure it out. That bird will figure it out. Empower yourself. If you want to see life reflected as something wondrous, something incredible, you would have to hold on to those energies and radiate them, my friend. You would have to be filled with yourself, wouldn't you? If instead you are selfless, what do balloons attract? Perhaps a party that ends, that was loud, was messy. Maybe you had a good time, but after that, the balloon deflates and it's over. Don't end, my friends. Fill your cup to the brim with your self. That will energize you. That will help you raise your awareness, see things differently. And my friends, I will tell you that I am here to help you see it as it is. And the only way you will see it is when you are in yourself. The only way you will see clearly is from within your own perception. The only way you will have a fantastic life because if you don't believe me, you have to ask some of my friends. They're making their lives fantastic. The only way to make it fantastic is to outlive one night. Balloons they dissipate, they turn into ghosts, if you will. If you want to be ghastly, if you want to be empowered and have it all, notice those senses, notice everything, everything you can. You're on the train, the bus, you're driving, be aware. You're at a meeting, don't be at the meeting, be present. Be experiencing the meeting. Process things. Smell the meeting. Taste the meeting. Hear what people are saying. Sense what people are saying. Go deeper, my friend. Use what you already have. You see, one of the biggest mindset mistakes is that people think that they have no gift. They should be selfless. They should be good. Maybe then The sky will part, a ray will come down, shine upon them, and the lottery will fall, raining money on them. It doesn't work, does it? On the other hand, those that fill themselves with themselves, they are present, they are processing their experience because they know that they have those tools. That's what they are, that's who they are, and by doing what they are, they get to know more of who they are, 
they become far more expanded than a silly old balloon. And they are the life, not just of the party, certainly of everywhere and anywhere they go. Why? Because they're attractive. They are genuinely attractive because they have more magnetism than self. Have it all. Start with yourself. Don't have the mindset that you have to get lucky. Understand the appropriate mindset that you are. And you should be full of intent yourself, my friends. Be as selfish as self-centered, as self-aware as possible. Until next time.